Hello everyone, to introduce myself, my name is Quenisha Wade. I am the creator of Makeup by Quenisha. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, is take care of that skin underneath all the makeup. I call it the base face. So I'm gonna put on some hydrating cream, day cream, moisturizer, the whole nine. And I can't forget that primer. It is a crime not to prime. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, is brush those brows up. Brush, 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 brush. Brush those babies, I gotta get those eyebrows on fleek. So you know I have to go in with palette number one. I'm gonna go ahead and use Cocky, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm gonna create a line below, and I'm also gonna create a line at the top as well. So I'm just filling in those brows, ladies and gentlemen, getting that volume that it needs, and filling in those bald spots or those sparse areas that you need to be filled in to get that beautiful brow shape. So that's how you got to do it, boo. Just fill them in, fill, fill, fill. Create a little bit of a tail at the end as well. So all it's about, just filling those brows. You can also use a brow pencil, brow gel. I just like using my eyeshadows because I love them because they're so freaking pigmented. Amazing, amazing. It is now time for that concealer brush with some concealer and get those eyebrows nice and shaped. Thin them out a little bit, take the bushiness away, and just basically thin those babies down and tone it down to create that natural length. So what I'm doing now, ladies and gentlemen, is just brushing my brows into the inner corner, kind of thinning it out, kind of fading it out a little bit so it don't look so bold and so harsh like I drew them on. So I'm going for a natural brow shape, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you're always going for a natural brow shape. You don't want to look like you don't use a Sharpie marker or drew those babies on. You want to look natural as possible. Don't forget to get that blending bud and start blending everything out, ladies and gentlemen. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is key. You want blending to be your best friend. So now what I'm using is basically a brow brush and basically just creating a little bit more length onto the tail to get that more of a natural look. And then now I'm just going right back with the blending bud and just blending everything out and toning everything down. Blending is key, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you're blending. And then after I'm done blending everything out, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna go ahead and spread that concealer everywhere because I want that glow as well when I put the foundation on top of everything. So I kind of like the concealer as like a base coat for me, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to go ahead and use a liner called Precious. It's a very beautiful gold liner. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit more awake because it was early in the morning for me. I was looking a little bit more sleepy, so I wanted to look more awake in my eyes. So it's a very beautiful color. It's smudge proof, waterproof, water resistance. It's an amazing liner. I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm going to go in with palette number one and I'm going to go in with chipper and just buff that into the creases of my eye. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I used a lighter transitioning color. So you always want to start with a lighter color into the creases of your eyes. And do not, do not, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to prime. It is a crime not to prime. So I just buff that into the creases of my eye and I'm going to go ahead and work my way on the other eye and do the same exact thing. Just buffing it into the creases of my eye and blending, blending, blending. Blending is key. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, is use Fourth Right into the creases. It's a lot, it's a little bit more of a smoky look. So I'm just buffing that into the creases to get a little bit more of a smoky looking eye. But I'm still staying more natural. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of browns. I start with a light brown, then a little bit more darker brown. So that's what I'm using into the creases of my eye. And I just buff it, buffing, 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 and blending, blending, blending is key, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you're constantly, always blending, like seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beachfront Bronzer 
in her most so and i'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my brow because once again i'm going for a natural glow today ladies and gentlemen i have a couple of meetings i had to go to today so i just wanted to go with a more natural look so i'm just highlighting underneath my brow it's like a really beautiful bronze glow i really like it because when i hit the sun it gives me that amazing glow and ladies you know i love to look flawless when i go outside natural lighting so I'm just putting that underneath my brow and just basically blending everything out as well while I'm applying it as well. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so exciting. So exciting putting these amazing cosmetics on my face. So next I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use palette number four and I'm going to use seductive. Actually, no, it's not seductive. It's secretive. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lid of my eye. It's a beautiful gold color. I really, really love it. So I just put that all over the lid of my eyes to get more of an amazing glow onto my eyes. Because I really, 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 really love that color. It's a very beautiful color. So as you can see that amazing beautiful glow up close you guys just to show you how pigmented those amazing eyeshadows are so what i'm going to go ahead and do is get like a fluffy brush and just basically go back into the creases of my eye and basically try to blend everything out ladies and gentlemen the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is use brazzy and i'm going to go ahead and put brazzy into the inner corner of my eyes to kind of bring out my eye color a little bit more bring out that glow in my eyes a little bit more which is amazing I really really love it so now it's time for the 3d fiber lash mascara so I'm going to go ahead and use a base coat and it's a regular mascara tube and just get the lashes nice and wet and then I'm going to go in with the transplanting gel and go ahead and apply it all through my lashes as well get them nice and wet top and bottom and then I'm going to go in with the fibers and just apply the fibers top and bottom as well to get that amazing length and volume that I need and I just went right back in with the transplanting gel to seal those fibers the steps are gel fiber gel now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes with my blow dryer I love curling my lashes with my blow dryer you can also use a eyelash curler but I just like using my blow dryer so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other eye ladies and gentlemen gel fiber gel but don't forget your base coat So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I really love to blend. I'm constantly always blending, 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 and making sure I'm getting everything right. Maybe, and also when I get off the camera, I'm still going to be blending, ladies and gentlemen. So blending is key. Like you want to constantly blend. Blending, it, you got to make blending your best friend, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, you definitely do. So as you can see, I'm just blending everything down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like, it's time to put on my foundation. So I'm going to put on my liquid foundation and cypress and i'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of drops onto a stiffling brush and put that baby to work like seriously i'm ready for my foundation now <laughs> so um i like this foundation ladies and gentlemen is because it transformed into a matte finish and as you can see it's a little bit off my shade but i'm going to show you guys how blendable it is how it blends in very very well and how it transform into a matte finish ladies and gentlemen do not forget your neck or your ears when you are applying foundation you want everything to be blended in very well because when you go outside in natural lighting people can see two different colors on your neck and on your face so you want to make sure everything is blending in very well ladies and gentlemen so as you can see how it's transforming into a matte finish it's freaking amazing. I call that bottle the Photoshop in the bottle. Like seriously, it's that freaking amazing. It gives me that full coverage. It gives me that matte finish. 
It's freaking amazing. I'm so obsessed with it. I love this foundation. Get you some, boo. Get you some. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, is contour. Contour those cheeks, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm also going to make my lips look a little bit more plump. And then I'm also going to tone down that forehead. And also trim down that nose. Like kind of tone down that nose, honey. Then the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is start with some highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Beachfront Bronzer. And I'm going to go ahead and use Hermosa to highlight. I like that bronzer because it's a two-in-one product. You can highlight and get that amazing glow out at the same time. And I'm just so in love with it. Like, seriously. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So as you can see how it looks, give me that amazing glow. I'm so obsessed with that bronzer. I'm so in love. I'm in love. So basically what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, is letting that highlight and contour set in my face while I work on my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Lip Bon Bon in red belly cake and I'm just going to use that as a base coat and put that all over my lips ladies and gentlemen get some moisture I love it because it's it's like a lip treatment it's freaking amazing so I'm getting my vitamin E of the day on my lips and you definitely need to put some vitamins onto your lips because they get dry they crack and things like that so you definitely want to take care of your lips as well so next I'm going to go ahead and use is palette number five and I'm going to go ahead and use suspicious I'm going to use this is an eyeshadow palette and I'm going to put that color on my lips to get more of, of a gold shimmer it's a very beautiful color and it's also going to it's going to be like a matte shimmer basically which I truly truly love I'm really really obsessed it's perfect for meetings if you're trying to go out for like a glass of wine with your girls it's like a really beautiful color to just take out and go with it's just a more neutral color I really really love it and especially when you're in the Sun if you're outside or anything like that or you with friends at a park with your kids it just gives you that amazing glow that amazing matte shimmer I am so obsessed with that color like I really really love it um that palette is palette number five that product just launched so i'm super excited look at that look at that super cute so palette number five just launched so it's available to customers now so also i'm going to go ahead and set that highlight in that contour and i'm just going to go ahead and blend out everything and i'm using a pressed powder in cypress blending 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 So as you can see, that amazing flawless matte finish, it looks amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so freaking obsessed with all these amazing cosmetics. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget your neck or your ears. You want to make sure that you're blending everything out. Look at that. Look at that flawless glow. Freaking amazing. I'm so freaking obsessed. So... Basically, I was just showing you guys um, the blusher, the blushes that I use. I use stunning, and but today I'm going to go ahead and go for a neutral color. It's called Seductive, and I'm just putting that on my cheeks and get that really neutral pink. I think that color is beautiful for all shades. If you want more of a natural pink, that's a very beautiful color. I really, really love it. So as you can see how it looks, it's very amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm flipping up my little hair, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm saying, basically, if you're interested in any of these amazing cosmetics, you can go to MakeupByQuenisha.com. If you're interested in playing in makeup and getting paid like me, you can also go to my blog, MakeupByQuenisha.com. Or you can also message me on Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Follow your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Follow your dreams. You deserve nothing, nothing but the best. God bless you.